So, we have a little bit of minor NBA news here today on January 30th. Um, the Nets have filled one of their three open roster spots that were created from the James Hart trade, and they've sh- signed Iman Shumpert. So, um, I'm just going to talk about what that could be for the Nets. I doubt this will be a very long video because, you know, it's Iman Shumpert, but, you know, he could have a little impact on the Nets. Um, he's 6'5 and is a wing, so can play the two guard or the small forward position and I suspect that's where he will be playing um you know they still do have two roster spots open the net so they could sign um some more players but with Shumpert um I don't know how much he's gonna play because obviously the guards and you know the smaller wings isn't a huge position of need for the nets as they have Kyrie and James Harden and you know TLC Chris Chioza um you know, Joe Harris can play there. They have plenty of guys. Shamit, of course. Um, but, you know, Shumpert could find a spot for them, but I assume it would just be a backup role. Um, and he did play for them last season a little bit. Um, only 13 games, averaged four points, did not shoot efficiently. Um, so we'll have to see with that. Um, he's obviously close with Kyrie from the Cleveland days, and Kyrie has obviously wanted him um on the nets and i think that's a big part of this signing and you know if his three-point shot is falling he could be a decent player for them um that's been the big thing with this career um he's not he's a career 33.8 three-point shooter so not a great percentage below league average but he's had some good seasons most notably 2016-17 on the Cavs. And he shot well from three in that season, um, 36% on 3.4 attempts per game. So if you can give them a similar percentage to that, then that would be massive, absolutely massive for the Nets. Um, and it would probably keep him in the rotation. And, you know, if he's giving you a good three-point shooting, he's not a bad defender. Um, 6'5", that could be a useful piece for the Nets. Um, if we look at, like, I don't think he's going to be in any important lineups for closing um, because I think the Nets closing or best lineup has sort of been determined. It's obviously the big three and then Joe Harris and then Jeff Green or DeAndre Jordan, um, depending on the matchup and, you know, how they're playing on that particular night. Um, Another thing that this might open up um, is the possibility of trading Shamit, who might be their only valuable asset. Um, if we think about it, like, um, he's young and he has some potential as a shooter, um, has obviously been a bit disappointing on the nets and hasn't really been trusted with, by the coaching staff or shot a good percentage, but, um, I'm sure plenty of rebuilding teams could want him just as someone who can space the floor and maybe the nets could trade him for a player they could more use in like a bigger wing or a center, um, you know, if we think of some potential trade, just any center on a minimum or near minimum deal, like the Knicks, could they trade him for Nerland's Noel? Um, Noel could be a decent backup center for the Nets, and then Shamit could space the floor for the Knicks. So that could be a deal that makes sense. Or, you know, there's plenty of deals like that. But um, getting back to Schumpert, um, it's really the shooting. If he can be a valuable shooting for them, he can space the floor, he can play a little bit of defense. You know, he's he could have a role in this team, but if it doesn't happen, you know, if he's not shooting while he's shooting below average, then he's pretty much useless, and I doubt he'll get much PT. Um, He could have just also been brought in because he's friends with Kyrie, so we'll have to see. Something else that we have to consider is that there's been plenty of players missing games this season due to protocol and injuries, so he might be a bigger piece than the Nets would want him to be. And in that case, you know, that's not great. I mean, he's he's an okay player. Like, it's not, you're not, he's not killing you if he's out on the floor, especially if his shooting is decent. Um, so we'll have to see with that one. He also gets quite a few steals, um, just looking at his stats. Um, last season, 13 games with the Nets, 18 and a half minutes, but a steal a game, that is very, very decent. Um, So if he can do that, provide a bit of defensive help, um, because obviously the two biggest issues with the Nets are the defense and the rebounding. Um, He's not a very good rebounder, averages about, you know, three a game for his career. So he's not really helping them out on the rebounding standpoint. Defense, he's all right. And then 
it's just the shooting that's the big thing so we'll have to see that with that one whether it means another trade from the nets whether he's just being brought in because he's friends with Kyrie or whether he can be an actual piece for them with his defense and his three-point shooting ability so we'll see but Shumpert has signed for the nets